All right, guys. Not your average guy. Never mind your own YouTube channel. I got a package, a small package, but a big step for my kind of flying. View fine. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> These are some glasses. That's one part of it. But this is the most important part of it. This is a manual. And there's, there's a clip, a magnetic clip, HDMI cable, USB cable. Now, why is this so important? How does that look? I don't know. Because this is going to be like this. And there is a monitor in here. And the good thing is that this has an HDMI input like this. And then this one can go into the transmitter. And that means I should be able to see 720p HD video. Correction, it does not show 720p in the viewfinder over here. It takes 720p as an input and it shows uh, around 960 by 540, which is better than the Fetch Arc because the Fetch Arc has 800 by 480. The bad thing is, I only have this on one eye so I have to figure out if that's gonna work all right but I can still see everything around me so it means I can keep an eye on my drone and see the camera that is good because the law in most countries says you have to keep an eye on the drone you cannot use goggles because <sighs> I think it's crazy. I think it's just crazy because this law is like the heritage of radio controlled airplanes. If you have a radio controlled airplane, you have to keep watching that thing. Otherwise it will crash down. But with drones nowadays, you don't need to have to keep an eye on it all the time because it just hoovers there and it is there and it will not crash down immediately like an airplane. Second, when you see the camera, you are the pilot of the drone, you are in the drone. And that is just way better than look at it from a distance. But anyway, with a system like this, I can keep the law and see the camera. So this is definitely worth testing. This can be like this on the glasses. You can put it like this and then taka. You see that? And you can, you can do it like this until it's good. But also I look a lot smarter with these glasses. And that means that the chance that people will call me stupid will be a lot less. I think this should be charged first. Oh, there is light blinking. And what's also possible is this one. And that is like a head strap. That's the idea. Ooh. It's kind of loose. I don't know if I'm happy with that. And the other option is, is a similar thing, but I can snap it on a cap. I can click it on. Wow. Oh man, I, I really <laughs> wonder if this will be working. It's so different from goggles. If I fire up the Phantom, I should be able to, to see that. Check it. 
since the phantom is not on, you only see a black screen. But I will put the phantom on. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna put on this. I'm gonna strap it on here. It's not too difficult. And now I need to position this right in front of my eye. Is it possible? I have to kind of look up and maybe oh yeah, you have to ah yeah I like this it's pretty good but to tell you the truth I got only one eye and if I want to see it really well I have to close my eye like this. Now I can see it. But it's small. It's very small. Uh, you can also put it like this. And then you can look over it. And then when, when I look down, I can see it. But again, if I really want to see it well, I, I should close one eye. And I think it's, it works best when it is as close as possible to my eye like this wow wow that's that's gonna be a challenge can i get it closer to my eye oh it would definitely be better yeah so it will take a little bit of adjusting before this is right it's not like okay what if I use the glasses? It's easier to, to strap it on, but it's impossible for me to, to, to see it. Impossible. Because um, the angle is not right and I, you cannot... Okay, I got something. I think I want to glue it to the to the glasses. All right, I can see it. I can see it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I'm gonna try my cap. Mm. Like this is pretty good. It's wow. It's almost glued to my eye I ah, like this it's good like this is good I think I, I, I can handle it like this but for sure if I want to see it well I have to close one eye you still have a little bit of view around here and of course you just have to open your eye and you can see whatever you want to see hmm. but it's small it's small if I put the fat shark on oh, wow. the screen is so much bigger with the fat shark This is not going to work. Listen, you have to precisely put it in front of you. Like now it's good, you know, but if I fly 20 minutes, it's hard to say and hard to explain. But I, I just got a very tiny screen over here. With the fat chart, it looks like this big, like it's totally in front of you. If the resolution is better but it appears further away it's not that good you have to micro adjust everything because you know it's it's very wobbly like this how can i explain this it's like this 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 is round this this one is square but the screen is here and you're looking in here like this so it means if you if you look a little bit like this off then all of a sudden you don't see it anymore anymore 
you have to be exactly positioned right in front of it otherwise part of the screen you, you will not see it and that means that you have to precisely micro adjust this thing so that it is exactly good and that is not easy ah my goodness this is i you cannot have this in the field this is not gonna work not for fpv flying when i take this off put this one on yeah it's it's like four times as big like one two three four screens of of this one that's what you see it's so much bigger and you see it in two eyes so with the fat shark you are much more immersed into what you're seeing and that's what you need you need like a tunnel vision tunnel view totally totally into it because then then your mind thinks that you are in the drone with this thing just a tiny little screen that you're seeing somewhere yeah so conclusion for fpv flying this is just a waste of money I wouldn't do it. The Fat Shark is a little bit more expensive, but that's the way to go. For other uses, um, I haven't figured out something for this yet. Even though the outcome of this video is not positive for the viewfind, maybe you can still like the video because I saved you a lot of money. If you ever considered buying this for FPV purposes. So if you want to see more tests, more equipment, more adventures, more, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and leave any comments and suggestions, etc. See you on the next video. What a waste of money.